Hello world, I'm Glucarp and welcome back to Book of Hours with the House of Light DLC. Here we got the Lighthouse, uh, which is going to be released on the 26th day of September, which is this Thursday. Just, you know, I'm pretty sure I said 27th in one of the earlier episodes, but yeah, it's on 26th day. So uh, you can all get this in a couple of days. A big thank you to Weather Factory for sending me the pre-release code. But anyways, like I was thinking between episodes here, and now that we have this thing here, we can have a picnic in the Physic Garden. It requires a visitor, or a visitor from village. So you can only invite one villager at a time to the house. I'm kind of thinking maybe we could do something with that, uh, with Achilles. So uh, let's get... Okay, first of all, uh, you know, let's see what the weather is like today. That's going to help us. Okay, it's a sunny day, so let's see. Uh, what places require sunny things? That requires two lantern. Uh, that doesn't require lantern or sky. That doesn't require lantern or sky. That doesn't require lantern or sky. That requires five lantern. Uh, that doesn't require lantern. Oh, that's sky four, actually. Hmm. Ah, but we can't get to a sky four. We can only get to, I think, a sky three. So lantern is probably what we want to be doing today, so... Ooh, actually, do we? Because we're running, well, I mean, we got three shillings worth of money here, really. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's get the priest man out. We'll give him a shilling and he'll come out. And then I'm pretty sure we can just uh, use these lessons to increase skills we... Oh, bloody hell, I don't, I'm supposed to... I, I let check, check my nose to see what skills these, what crafting recipes these skills give us. But I forgot to check in which branch of the Tree of Wisdom they go, which is the actually important thing to know right now. So uh, I'm going to quickly check that from my notes uh, again. Okay, sea stories can be put into Nyctodrami and it will give us Shapt. And Shapt is the one we started with. And which I consider to be our most important uh, part of the soul right this now, at this point. So we're going to use uh, the sea stories we're going to take as a skill. And we're going to get a shaft from that. And pentiments because, uh, yeah, we don't need this. Uh, this one we can just use to upgrade skills. But do we actually have to upgrade any of our skills? No, they are not real in a place where we even want to upgrade them. Uh, so I'm just going to keep the lesson around. And see if we can find like better skills to upgrade with that. Because right now we got nothing. Okay. So we got the Rector. So if we take the Rector... Can we just put him like here? No. So... Yeah, you don't have that. How? Okay, it's this... Uh, that's Secretary Persistent Visitor. The primary boat folks enter the library. There are visitors because for a variety of... This is a village. Someone from Brancrock has accepted an invitation to the house. And there's... Yeah, nothing else goes in here. So just uh, asking them to help me isn't inviting them to be a visitor to the house. Okay, let's... Do we have any ink? We got some ink over here. Okay, we got some perinculate. So let's see. If we put some choir of paper here and we put the perinculate here... And we put a soul part in here. Skill. Hmm. Write a resurgence emergencies manuscript. Ink is paper's and knowledge is lamp. This manuscript will satisfy moth and resurgence and emergencies interest from visitors. Skill level will determine to manuscripts quality, but books have souls too. Using an ink with moth aspect will effectively double your skill. Huh. Okay, so we're gonna have to write one of these manuscripts now that we know that we can do this. But before we start doing that, okay, let's talk to uh, Tinny. We'll get him to Lantern 4. And then let's think. So, Inks of Containment is our highest skill. We got Wit. Wist. No, not, not Wit. Wist. So, if we were to do this. I could write an ink of containment manual. Using an ink with a winter aspect. Okay, so we'd like to do a winter aspect 
ink, just because, you know, this is our highest skill at this point, so that's what I want to use it for. Okay, 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 let's see, 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 let's
not an issue. I was thinking, could we maybe craft something with other things we have? Trist has two moth, yeah. Uh, does this go here? Well, what was the moth thing? Edict's liminal. It doesn't go there. Uh, is there anything where I can put Edict's liminal into? No, because we only got these three stations here. Uh, wait, can I use... Yeah, I don't think I can use this to craft. Okay, so we're just gonna have to wait until we we'll find a crafting station to check out all the skills we have. Also, hey, more books, and also there's some water, so let's grab that water. Uh, bring it here. Uh, up here. No, where did it go? There. Ah. Uh, go. There. That's miscus water, and that's just isle water. Okay. And. Yeah, more things to catalog. Uh, let's see, and uh, let's see if this is the correct memory. That is the correct memory. Okay, the confounding parable. Good, 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 good. So with that confounding parable and the help of the tryst and the insect containment, yeah, we should be getting to six. Also, we can create cat wink with this. Yeah, that's an ink of some sort. I don't remember what sort, but we'll probably want to do some of that at some point. But now we'll just read the sea does not regret. Let's get that going, and yeah, we got four books to catalog. Yep, so let's just start cataloging. Anything goes here? Uh, Wist is the only thing that can go here, so go there, catalog that book. Uh, and we are using this to read that book, so we can just use our own own thing here to... Alright, I gotta send the book first. Yep, you go there, read that. And of course, when I said red, I meant catalog. Oh, a 12! Right, so let's put you there. And what do we got here? Another tw Okay! Uh, right, let's catalog this with the fit. Ah, 12s. 12s are not nice to get in the beginning. Speaking of beginning, I think... It's very likely that we'll actually not get into, like, any House of Light aspects in this game uh, before. Ooh, that's a six edge. Uh, we have that edge ink here. Yeah, so we can most definitely read that. Let's put that there. But yeah, I think we're, like, <laughs> we're not going to see any House of Light contents here, maybe, <laughs> before House of Light is actually released. That's how I'm kind of feeling here. But, yeah, oh, we still have one more book to catalog, so let's... Let's get that cataloged. And it is cataloged. It is a four winter. Okay, that's also something we can easily read. Uh, not today. Uh, what's in... Oh, Ereb. Another, the other Ereb is Edge. Uh, so that gets us to Edge 5. If we had one more Edge thing... Like a memory or a tool, which we don't have. Okay, so I'm not gonna try and read uh, that edge book today. We can read it tomorrow. Uh, yeah, it's already getting to be dusk, so this is fine. Okay, so we read the seed. It's not regret. Essan Fekri, one-time secretary Salvan of the Curia of the Isle, responsible for the Curia's healing efforts, writes of his experiences in Brancroc and hints at his travels elsewhere. The sea does not regret the tide, Fekri writes, for when the tide has passed, it leaves its traces on the sand, which traces are the sea's memory. Fekri is a keen fisherman and speaks glowingly of the fish shoppers of Brancrock. He also admits that his enthusiasm for the bounty of the sea has altered him, that before he came to Brancrock, he consumed only those things found in the earth. I was the greater thereby, but all of us give up what we were to become what we are. That is a very true statement there in the end. Then we got the memory of salt and a lesson of pearl and tide, which I believe is the first rose skill we have. Yeah, so we're most definitely just gonna take that as a skill. Get that going. And yeah, memory of salt. Where did the book go? Uh, I think that the Prey Lady and Prince of Wines also gives us salt. Because, uh, 
is to deal with the sea, so that's why we get the memory of salt from that sea spray death sorrow. Because this uh, is about Lady the Wolf, and she drowned in the end, so that's why I pretty much everything that has to do with her, I think, gives the memory of the salt. And it's even about sea stories, so yeah, I'm pretty sure this gave salt. Okay, uh, is there anything we can do with our red? Okay, do we have any grail things? Sea stories and resurgences and emergencies. So they're both grail one, so that doesn't really help us getting anywhere. What is the amount of grail? You have grail one. You have grail two. Do we have a place where we can put candles in two? Seriously, we can't put candles in this one? I was pretty sure we could, but... Nope, it just lands this right. Okay, so, yeah, really nothing else for to do for today than uh, get that skill and be done. So, Pearl and Tide goes into the boss or Nick the Drummy, so let's have a look-see at what we can do with that. Uh, with Nick the Drummy, we need to be level 3. With Bosk, just level 1 is enough. We could, like, straight up upgrade it to level 2, though. Uh... No, we can't upgrade it with the pentiments and... Ow, 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 let's get ow, away from here! Seriously, that sound is way too loud. That sound is way too loud. I gotta say, I feel like I need to send a bug report about that. It's, it's honestly hurting my ears. Uh, so yeah, Pearl Tide. Okay, we'll just take the health. I feel like that's good enough. We'll grab a health. What returns? The sea accepts every gift it is given, and sometimes, now and then, those gifts are returned. The Red Grail slew the hour named Tide, and what remained was given to the sea, so perhaps one day the hour might return. This is life, and so this is Bosk. You know what? No, we're not gonna put it there. Uh, there is a simple reason, because we have... Let's get out of here. We have that first slot open, and we have the second slot open, so I'd rather put this in the second slot, so we can put a language in the first slot, uh, meaning that, because languages, there's like very little point in upgrading languages. Now, they make reading certain books easier if they are in the same aspect, like if the language has the same aspect of, of mystery, or like if the book has like a mystery lantern 18, and it's written in a language that the language has lantern. Then, you know, upgrading the language makes it easier to read that book. But otherwise, there is very little use in upgrading languages because you cannot craft with languages. So there is nothing to craft with them. So I'd rather upgrade skills, which I can use to craft something, than the languages. So since we can put this in the second slot, if we first upgrade this, uh, we're going to try and do that so that we can put a language in the first slot. Yeah, okay, 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 so it's, yeah, there's really nothing else, wait, 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 but there is something else we can do. We can put our Ereb in here. Uh... Oh, man, this is just the one that gives us a random memory, which I just realized I've never really checked out what are the memories we can get from there. Maybe I order, you know what, yeah, I'm gonna see what we get from here. Oh, we just did it before dusk, so if we're lucky, we're gonna have like a second or two where we can actually maybe remember that the uh, memory. Okay, that was the memory of fear. Right. So since it's still nighttime, we can go in here and we can drop either of these memories. The memory of assault or the memory of fear. Now, we were planning on doing something with edge. So I think it's a pretty good idea to keep this memory of fear here, so, okay, it's immediately daybreak, let's wait and see what the weather is like. Okay, it's cloudy. That's not very good at opening doors, so let's see, what can we get? Well, there's a winter fall, so basically we get our wist replenished after we got some Mr. Killy out, uh, we can get there. Uh, Lantern 5, that doesn't seem like doable right now, heart or... Scale 5 doesn't seem very doable. Uh, neither do those. Grail 4 is doable because we can get Mrs. Killy to talk to her about a red. Alright, and that is Edge 4. Okay, maybe we'll just. Get, man, I just really like to go this way. This is like the most important room in the house to me. 
uh, but we cannot get there right now. So I think what we're gonna do is, yeah, we're gonna get Mr. Mrs. Killy out. We're gonna open up the Tangle of Thorns here. So start with the core over here. Uh, no topic, please. And yeah, we we're gonna uh, read that uh, edge book. So let's read that edge book. Skill of edge. We don't have a skill of edge. Well, we have edge in Reb. We ha oh, I need to wait for the memory to come out, actually. Right, and let's go get Mrs. Killy out. So, Mrs. Killy will talk to her about her. Right. <laughs> no, that's... That's... What I wanted to use. Uh, do we seriously have no edge skills? No. Okay, so what was the amount of edge in the, uh, in the ink? That's a four. Right. Okay, 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 okay. So we can't get that. Uh, ooh, that's a lantern. A lantern tool, right, gotta remember that. And a sky tool. Whew, so I think, 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 think. I'm trying to think at least. Uh, mystery moon of six. We can get the moon. Yeah, we should be able to do that again. Okay, 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 okay. So let's read. Oh, my chef doesn't go in either one of these decks. Let's read the book. Uh, it was this one that gave us the... Gave us uh, the memory of two that we need. We're gonna need to use that tryst for that. So what are we gonna use our wet wist and shaft for? It's pretty clear that we cannot be reading any books with those. Yeah, these are just not the aspects we're looking for. Uh, the Winter Fall. Well, that one we can just straight up read. Because we have enough Winter here in our Inks of Containment. So, yeah, let's do that. Drop that there. Inks of Containment there. We can use any of our soul parts that go here. Uh, only the Wist goes in here, though. Well, that's fine. It's not like we're going to be using it for anything else today. Uh, do we have Winter in any other... No, we don't have Winter in any other... Skill to just see if we could craft something with the. Oh yeah, let's let's read that and yeah, then we're just gonna wait. And Mrs. Killy is ready now, so we're gonna have her open the tangle of thorns, a flower garden now overrun with thorned weeds and briar rose. And we read right the thing that gave us the memory because we then need to. Do you have wind? Oh yeah, you have that aspect there, but honestly, we don't have to spend time for that. We can just read it here. Uh, right, let's get put the book in here first. So the world is spoiled. Right, that's the one. Put our soul part in there, put the confounding parable in there, put... No, not pearl and tide. Right, okay, so I gotta wait until this book is actually finished. Finished, because, yeah, the skill I'm using is in there. And it sounds like Mrs. Killy opened up this place for us. So this is uh, the Scent Garden. This too dates from the time of the Abbey. But in summer, neither sisters nor brothers were permitted to spend more than a single hour here. At least, lest the temptation of savers overwhelm them. Okay, so in here we got a hurricane lamp. And that's about it. There is some skin shuck mead, which makes very easy to open high-level moth doors. Uh, so we're probably going to use that for that uh, as soon as we, you know... Enter any mo uh, encounter any moth six doors. Of course, we're not gonna use it for anything smaller. Probably not gonna actually use anything smaller than a moth eight. Uh, but yeah, and then there is we got these gardening spots here in this particular garden. I think there's three different ones. Uh, yeah, there's these these flowers, these ones. You can see they're like this, and they got this purple color flower. Uh, we got these round red ones here, and then we have uh, the history plant. The history plant. Okay, yeah, there. I was thinking like there's two of those as well, but they look very different here from each other. Whereas these look very similar. So yeah, there's three different plants that we can uh, gather from here. But to gather any plants, uh, we're going to need uh, a skill with nectar. That is the unfortunate thing. We cannot just just go and pl pluck things from the ground. We gotta actually know what we're uh, picking up from the ground, which, you know, it's 
That's smart. Don't go picking up and eating flowers or berries if you don't know what they are. Just really don't do that. Because uh, a lot of the things in our planet have uh, decided to evolve into a way that if you eat them, you will die. So it's, it's a good idea to not eat things you don't know about. So, we read Lady Ava's Repose, a meditation on the drowning of Lady Ava the Wolf and her two grandchildren, within in the years when the estate was abandoned by Father Theo, once the DeWolf family chaplain, one of the few to remain on the isle in those desolate years. There are so many stories of her heritage, so many rumors of her persistence. We might easily choose to believe that the Grand Twins escaped, even that they live yet beyond the sea. Father Theo has come to believe that Ava sought an escape from a family curse, the pale heritage of Halfren, her forebear, or the curse placed upon the line by the cunning man Red William in the time of Henrik the Wolf. He had begun by believing neither curse was real, but as the book concludes, he decides that he has determined to believe in them rather than accept the three deaths as a futile tragedy. One does not so easily escape the long necessity of faith, he concludes. So, what do we get from here? We get a lesson in rhyme and remembrance, which, of course, like, if we just look at the book, we know what we're gonna be getting from that. And a memory of regret. Ooh, Winter 2 memory. Well, that's very good. Uh, so, it was you. So, you are a Winter memory. Let's put you there for now. Okay, Winter 2 memory. Probably not gonna remember that. So, rhyme and remembrance. Uh, moon and winter, we have both. I do not believe that there's anything really important in this skill. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this skill to upgrade uh, Pearl and Tide. Or this lesson, not skill. And we are going to read... Uh, put the Trist in there, put the Inksa Containment in there, put the Confounding Parable in there. And yes, we're going to read the last... Moon 6 book, which is going to give us some Magfin mysteries. Right, so is there any use for our Fet or Shapts? That we have several of. Wait, by the way, can we. Oh, right, I was. Can we use this to upgrade? No, it's a Horror Mac History Machine. We can only use it to upgrade metal or. Uh, actually, I'm pretty sure metal is the only thing. No, 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 because it has Sky, so you can use it to upgrade fast as well. So I'm pretty sure that Fast is what we get from Horror McHistory. Metal and Fast. No, it's Metal and Fet. Can we use this to upgrade Fet? We can. Okay. So, gotta remember that for the future. But for now, yeah, we got four parts of the soul that we're not really needing for anything right at this moment. So, can we get some money from these ones? Ah, yes, six cents worth of odd jobs. Yes, yeah, so if I have extra shaft, let's just use that for working, and... Honestly, it doesn't feel like there's anything we could really do today. Uh, what's the time? It's midday. If we were to replenish our sh uh, whist, get... Oh, we just started doing something in the bar, so I was thinking that maybe replenishing this, getting Mr. Killy out, replenishing it again, and making Mr. Killy into a winter four, so we'd get here. But no, that seems like a tomorrow thing, and... Honestly, so Shapt is knock. None of our skills... Oh, Edix Demon has some knock. It's got only got two knock. We got any more knock somewhere? Like two... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can we put you into any of the things we have? Nope. So just go back into your little hidden hole. Uh, did we already check winter from the recipe of... This thing we must have since that's already a four. Oh yeah, that was the agang Right, 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 right. Uh, that pearl and tide has two rows. Is there anything where we could actually? If we put fat here, pearl and tide here. Can we put anything in this that has rows? Wait, what did clouds have? Nothing that helps us here. Hmm, so, yeah, kind of feels like there's not much to do for today, so we get a little bit of money, and yeah, let's just put the other shaft in there, it's, we're working now. So yeah, we must definitely need to get into the dim lily chamber, and that is, how are we going to do that? Oh, Wist has, Wist, Wist has one lantern, okay, yeah, if we just get a memory for two lantern, which means a sunny day, uh, 
then we can do that. Okay, so we now read The World Despoiled. Subtitle, The Flowers in the Waste, an epic poem that presents a medical treatise throughout allegory, through allegory. The author is Gideon de Wolf, 5th Baron Brancrock, sometimes unkindly called uh, The Cutter. The poem is a substantial variation on the Fisher King tale. A wounded wasteland monarch learns that he and his land can be cured, but the cure is their own response to ever more savage maladies. Gideon concludes with a concrete example that the miseries can be used to despoil mine own soaks, but then the soak can then be refined with sufficient heart into the sangui saltandis. Okay, so that we can use mysteries with Gideon soaks to create the uh, sangui saltandis. Okay, we got a memory of solace and a lesson in magazine mysteries, which gives us heart. And we don't have heart in any of our skills, so yeah, we're most definitely gonna take that now. And Solace. Yeah, not gonna remember that. That's for sure. Let's just put it there. And yeah, we're gonna... Oh, what do we got here? All oh, right, Working, working. More money, more money, more money. Oh, we got like two shillings at least. Oh, we got three shillings worth of money already, so we're we're like almost rich. Okay, so Magafin Mysteries goes into Hushery or Preservation. So let's have a look see at Hushery and Preservation. Uh, so the Magafin... Oh, it could go into level 2 uh, as well over there. And we need it to be level 2 to go into Preservation. So because of the same reason I was talking about why I... Why did I put Sea Stories there then? Well, I wasn't thinking enough. That's uh, the, the normal answer to any question. Why did she do something silly? Because I wasn't thinking enough. And yeah, we probably want to sleep on one of the memories. So let's have a look. See, what do books do we still have? So we have, yeah, this one we read. This is the... Gives the discipline of the hammer. Yeah, this is... So we use this. We use our... Red. And we use the ink. And then we can read that book. Which seems like a good idea. So yeah, the memory of fear is then the one that we need to sleep on. Because it's the only one that has edge. Sleep on that. And how long has this recording been going on for? Uh, roughly to the point where it's time that we put a cut in here. And continue with this in the next episode. Is there anything that's happening like this? Can happen in 30 seconds? Yeah, yeah. We're just going to start the next episode tomorrow morning there's really nothing i'm going to be using my fet for unless i can see something there we were that we can go to no why aren't you lighting up okay that's lighting up but yeah okay that's the only thing where this could be yeah 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 i think we're going to pick out in here and continue with this in the next episode I'm Uncle Carp, this has been Book of Hours with the House of Light DLC. Goodbye world, thanks for watching, see you next time!